A common mantra in the SRE field is, Class SRE implements DevOps. But what exactly does this mean? Well, if you think about it like a programming language, imagine DevOps is the interface, a structure that forces objects to behave in certain ways. SRE is a class in that interface, an instruction that applies the interface. So, think of DevOps as an overarching philosophy, encouraging developers and operators to collaborate to build better, more reliable systems. SRE is a prescriptive way to accomplish this philosophy with a defined set of practices. Next, let's look at how SRE implements the DevOps philosophy. In SRE, production ownership is shared between SREs and developers, reducing silos, and the teams use the same tooling to ensure a shared approach. DevOps and SRE both apply blameless postmortems to identify failures and ensure they don't happen again. This normalizes failure, but SRE takes a further step, implementing error budgets, specifying how much the system is allowed to deviate from expected performance. SRE makes gradual changes using canary development. This means new features are introduced to a small proportion of customers, tested and fixed before going into full operational use. SRE implements automation through measuring toil or low-value work and designing automated processes to eliminate it. The aim is to automate this year's job away. Finally, SRE depends heavily on measurement. The amount of toil and overall reliability is constantly measured to gauge performance and identify improvements. So there we have it. Class SRE implements DevOps. If you're already familiar with DevOps, you may feel that this isn't your experience of how DevOps is implemented. That's fine. SRE is one way to implement DevOps, not the way.